Now, a lot of you guys asked me a question regarding Exsanguinate. The question is mostly about, hey, is it going to be viable? Hey, is Bleed Spec possible? Hey, why is nobody playing Bleed Spec possible? Hey, Dalaran, why are you not wearing any pants? So amongst these questions, I'm going to answer most of them. I'm going to try Exsanguinate. I don't think this ability is that good, but I'll give it a try here. I'm, what I'm trying to do for this BG is I'll try playing the original build, just a normal build for assassination, nothing specific, and then we're going to give Exsanguinate a good old try. I feel like it'll be a lot better with Mark for Death as an ability in order to be more uh, more on demand, more uh, uh, yeah, just more on demand I guess is the best way to put it. Because I'm getting all my bleeds out but then it takes a little bit of while to get the kidney shot up. I'll just go full burst this guy. I can maybe get a- I'll, I'll exsanguinate right now. It's best to wait for all your bleeds to be up on a target before you exsanguinate them and then kind of just hope for the best. <laughs> Let's get this guy low and then hit him with an exsanguinate. Oh no, I don't have anything when it up. Hit him with that in Venom. Get the bleeds rolling. Yep, yep. Let him just uh, let him just melt himself like a snowman. All right. So basically, I want to get my lineup. I would rather get a kidney and everything, but not. I'm never gonna be able to get the full thing. So I'll try to get what I can. I plan to get a kidney. And the reason I'm even saying the word planning, because you never know how things work out. You know what I mean? Let's get all the dots. Vendetta, exsanguinate. Here we go. The bleeds are right and the fact that they tick faster is awesome i just don't think it's enough to make assassination go exsanguinate i think the bleeds are all right i just don't think it's they make enough of an impact i guess the best way to put it i think i feel like exsanguinate could use some kind of like a while exsanguinate is rolling your bleeds deal more damage and then it'll be more worth to go for exsanguinate maybe i can line up on this guy just a priest in the back no one expects him to do anything I have Exsanguinate rolling and everything, I had it up with Vendetta, and as you saw, the damage increase wasn't all that amazing. The problem with uh, Exsanguinate is, it's basically an ability every 45 seconds to give you more energy and speeds up your bleeds. Does, uh, does Exsanguinate play like a burst cooldown? Yes and no. The way I look at it is, it's basically speeds up your rupture, which would deal like 400, you know, at least in tooltip it says 400k damage over uh, 24 seconds, or 200 damage over 18 seconds, and speeds it up, so you feel like you're doing a lot more damage. When you speed up a dot, I don't really consider that uh, like a damage increase, because you, it, that damage would have been dealt over a period of time anyway. So, I don't know, I personally don't consider it a speed up of any sort, because that damage would have been dealt anyway. Whether you're patient, whether you're not patient, it would have happened. <laughs> Who the hell do you think you are, huh? Let me go for the whole damn thing. What? What? Okay, I'm just gonna keep hitting him, because what if? Maybe, no, 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 maybe, maybe, maybe this is still good damage. But look, he literally just got bubbled, and then that's it. And then there goes my damage. Woo! Got rode and ruptured, you're doing so good. It does the, does the biggest issue with, uh, with a bleeds based build. I, I mean, I've said it before. The bleeds don't actually, like Exsanguinate, doesn't actually increase the damage you do via bleeds. If it actually had an increase to bleeds, or if it was like 400% like it used to be back in the day, I think the best time we've had the best Exsanguinate was during the beta of the game, before any kind of nerfs. When it was like 200% in PvP, that was still viable. When it was 400% speed, that was well worth, because you could go for some crazy build, and even you could go for a cheeky night sucker, right? You put up all the bleeds, all the dots, but instead of hitting the enemy, you would just vanish so that all your dots are 50% stronger. I feel like, if anything, people should use the fact that most run Alacrity. Like, there's three options. You have Alacrity, Agonizing Poison, and Exsanguinate. If Exsanguinate was even remotely a damage increase, then I think people would be running it. But people even choose Alacrity for assassination. I feel like that should literally say everything, but it's okay. We got all the whole setup, everything, every single dot, the same when it is rolling. We got Hemo and everything, and this guy's only at half health. Like, I feel like that should be, that burst should be able to blow people the hell up. If you are going for that kind of uh, setup. I'm so fucking dead. <laughs> I'm so fucking dead. I'm just getting surrounded by all these casters. The only part of it, look at that, by the time Exsanguinate, uh, look at that, by the time Exsanguinate ticked out with all the damage, he was only at about 75% health. So I feel like that alone should just tell you that, yeah, that's not gonna work 
That's not gonna work, bud. I feel like at this point, if you want to play a really bleeds based class, I think you might just want to consider looking into a feral. Or you could just open your eyes, just open your mind, and enjoy the beautiful thing that is gonna be Toxic Blade. It's gonna be a beautiful ability, it's gonna be great. Trust me, I promise it's gonna be awesome. I love it, you're gonna love it, everybody's gonna love it, and it's gonna be well worth the uh, well worth the time than playing with a bleed base class bleeds base build, which is not gonna get you like high rating, it's not gonna get you the best results, it is not gonna get you as far as you think it will. Trust me. This guy's name is Dank Memes. For some reason I like the um the helmet. I like this the this uh toxic helmet with a guy named Dank memes who's a demon hunter i mean what a combination what a combination what a beautiful bastard anyway guys thanks for watching let me know what you think um again i would just adapt to toxic blade i wouldn't try to exanguinate but hey you know i'm not paying your fifteen thousand a month for your sub unless you're participating in my transport contest which i kind of sort of do anyway you guys enjoy yourselves thanks so much for watching i'll see you guys in the next video